a large number of programs filled with love, kindness, creative examples, information that relates to the life of each person are being released. Elatra TV volunteers translate these materials into different languages to make them accessible to everyone and share their positive experience of participating in the projects. At some time there was an opportunity to get to know the knowledge from the books by Anastasia Novich, and then to watch the programs with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilo. Like any other person, I had an inner need to do something. A Latra TV website has appeared, and gradually we are engaged in its content. Everything is translated, the programs with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich, live logs, People's insights, articles, good news, breaking news are being translated. There are a lot of translations. And this is very wonderful. Because you realize indeed that by doing this we give a chance to other people to get in touch with this knowledge. I realize that it would be great when as many English speakers as possible and in general people all over the world, people who do not speak Russian, could also meet this knowledge and understandings. I wrote to the coordination center on the same day, and the project coordinator contacted me literally an hour later. Thanks to the guys who were shooting the live vlog videos, I had realized what people said, that no one should listen to his consciousness, just do it. I also started. I just called and I was offered to translate. Translations are very helpful in working on oneself, because consciousness is always busy and there is a job for it to do. This can be done anywhere. I can do it on the phone if I'm not at home or at home on the computer. When you work in a team, indeed, many patterns are visible and it helps a lot. I started to participate recently, and I noticed that this process is very creative and interesting. Despite the fact that we are all so different, we have different point of views about what needs to be done. And nevertheless, we learn from each other and help each other. Teamwork helps a lot, not only to actualize this inner need of participation in something positive, but it also helps in working on oneself. It was very interesting to observe the behavior of the consciousness at first. Before I wrote to the coordination center, it often told me, well, there is probably no need in people, your English is not professional enough, you are not a professional translator, why do you need it? Finally, I realized that I should try, and I mustn't listen to consciousness but move. The desire to convey this information prevailed over the consciousness. From time to time we call up and discuss the translation of some nuances, some edits and programs, and some personal experience. And it was noticed that at the same time the same identical thoughts about other participants of the team had come to the same people. That is even more confirmation of the information that is in the programs. I have got acquainted with a large team from different countries and continents. We work very friendly, at the same pace and rhythm. We constantly have mutual assistance, mutual exchange of some information. When I do proofreading or translations, I realize that at this moment my consciousness is occupied, which means that I can pay most of my attention to the soul, to the deepest feelings, to love. But first of all, it is useful for me, in work on myself. It is a huge good in all senses. What makes me, what inspires me is something inside. I just know that I have to do this, that it is important for others. And if I 
manage to not to listen to my consciousness and I just do this. This really inspires to translate in order to make it possible for other people all over the world to watch to these episodes in their native language. Indeed, such lightness opens so much love, gratitude and an incredible feeling of mutual support is felt when you do a common good deed in a team and this flow is amplified over and over again. Thus, people around the world have an opportunity to get to know the primordial knowledge. This is what spreading of knowledge is. When we give an opportunity to even more people to learn about what we know. The information that is given to us today, which is set out in the book Alatra and in the programs with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov, is very important today. Thanks to the translations, it helps people in other countries to meet with the primordial knowledge as well as to get a chance to make their choice. We can share this knowledge with the whole world, and there are more and more such people. More and more sparkles will ignite all over the world. Please send your emails to info at elytra.tv if it is interesting for you to join the Elytra Movement team of translators and take part in translation of books, programs, videos and motivators which help people from different countries to familiarize themselves with the primordial knowledge and with the tools of working on oneself, the keys to which are given in the programs with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilo and the books by Anastasia Novik. On the 3rd of November 2018, the presentation of the books by the contemporary writer Anastasia Novik was held at the Central Library of Tallinn. This day has become a landmark for the Estonian capital. This presentation was held for the first time. A year ago, a set of books by this author in Russian was donated to the library and is available to the public today. By the way, it should be noted that these books can rarely be found on library shelves, as readers take them very quickly. This time, at the presentation, the books by Anastasia Novik were presented not only in Russian, but also in English. At the meeting, people watched the videos with quotes from the books by Anastasia Novik. Only the soul has a true home, and it's the soul that yearning for eternity begets the sense of home, for which man searches his entire life. Those people who heard about the books for the first time showed great interest and got the book as a gift. The presentation was attended by Alatra International Public Movement participants from different cities and countries, such as Riga, Ludza, Latvia, Vinitsa, Ukraine, St. Petersburg and Voronish, Russia. At the meeting, guests shared their stories about how they got the books, what first impressions and feelings arose from contact with the knowledge outlined in the books of the Ukrainian writer, and most importantly, how everyone's life changed. When I started reading, I realized that it was what I had been looking for all my life. As for me personally, this knowledge is life-changing. Starting from the first book, I downloaded the books one after another. And in a few months, I didn't just read, I drank these books, soaked up with them. Simply my eyes lit up with an incredible feeling, light. These books finally gave an answer. What is the meaning of life? What we live for? Also, you can get familiar with very interesting programs on the Internet, such as The Truth is One for Everyone, Life, Consciousness and Personality, From the Inevitably Dead to the Eternally Alive, and so on, which was shot on Alatra TV. And in my opinion, this process of self-knowledge, knowing the world, is generally infinite. And this is what I wish you.
the spiritual path is endless happiness and gladness. And I wish you all to get in touch with this happiness. It's this joy and happiness that unite us all. These books are the best compass, the best navigator in the spiritual world. Everyone who hears it is a summoned one, and together are the power capable of changing the entire world. Thank you. The Alatra Movement participants told the audience about the projects of the movement, the universal grain, good is where you are newspaper, and also about the programs with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov on Alatra TV International Internet Channel. The Alatra movement participants from the Baltic countries shared their observations and feelings in a short interview. We gathered on this day in the capital of Estonia. I hope that this seed, which we have sowed today in Tallinn, it will produce good, noble shoots in Latvia and Lithuania. I am grateful to God, grateful to all of you, friends, that you have come and supported us. I have been to such an event for the first time. And I'm just delighted. This wave was like a race. I don't even know how to describe it. It is really difficult to describe. Because I understood what unity of people means in practice. What unity of angels means in the spiritual world? It can be described so. Because all this was felt so much, this unified way was just awesome. I would like just to add that all this day it started on some positive wave right at 3 o'clock in the morning. And this feeling still goes on. It just grows and everything goes in one breath. Thanks a lot, everyone. It was very interesting to observe the guys who saw this presentation of the books for the first time, who generally heard about these books for the first time, an internal feedback, this interest in creativity, an interest in something true and important. We need to talk about it, you need to tell about it. Only feelings are more valuable than this. Such a journey, inspiration, light from the eyes, warmth of hearts or other souls. And this is so inspiring, even for a person who has already read the books and has already understood where he is going and why. I believe that those people who heard took something, this grain. But if not today, then maybe tomorrow it will germinate. And we haven't just shared our love, or rather not ours, but the love of God. Because He spoke through us, He acted through us. Because apart from our hands, He has no others. I am very grateful to everyone who met me here, warmed me, and I express deep gratitude to everyone who participates in the distribution of these books, because I would not wake up without them. Thanks, everybody. The inner strength that is transmitted through the books of the writer conduces the spiritual awakening of a human inspires him with the spirit of the truth and inspires for the spiritual transformation of himself and the world around him. However, each reader can understand this himself if he discovers the spiritual depth in himself by feeling his true nature. The primordial knowledge gives a feeling of gratitude and desire to share it with people. On October 28, 2018, the presentation of the books by Anastasia Novich was held in the Ternopil City Youth Library. The guests of the meeting watched video works, plots, clips created by the Elatra movement participants.
there were separate clips for all the books, which briefly described what is said in the books. The projects that are being organized by a Latvian international public movement volunteers were also well highlighted. There were also presented such projects as Good News and the Universal Grain, where anyone could take part in. Any participant had an opportunity to share his realizations acquired thanks to the books. Whatever conditions the system puts in front of me, it is still necessary to go forward, move. This year we can take as an example the people who have organized this presentation and united around this idea. If you are sincere, people will feel it and it will bring results. This is the foundation of a strong society, the foundation of which has already been laid by the books by Anastasia Novich. Every second, more and more people appear for whom spiritual development becomes the main priority in their lives. A book is a means of transferring the knowledge. The knowledge not in the sense of property, or one's own conclusion, but is wisdom from above that passes through centuries. The wisdom like an open gate for entering into that wonderful, higher state of spirituality through which the insight comes from the one who created everything, from the Elettra book. A priceless gift is given to a modern human, the book of primordial knowledge Elettra. Every person certainly feels the truth, only for it he strives his entire life, only for it he thirsts, because only the true knowledge makes a person truly free. That's why millions of people on our planet are already familiar with Alatra, and by voluntary actions of people themselves, this book is translated into different languages of the world. From the first lines of prologue, the whole sense of human existence is opening to us. We hear invoke of the spiritual world to humanity and its call to our awakening. Cry of an angel clad in clothes, or suffering of a man with an angel in place of a soul. Now this prologue sounds in different languages. Вопль ангела, одетого в одежды, или страдание человека с ангелом? вместо души. Кому? Зачем пишу я эти строки? Наверное, все же сам себе. Puisqu'en demeurant dans un lieu saint pendant des années, je ne fus reconnu que par deux fois et encore. Selbst das von Menschen, deren Seelen waren nach gutes Willen vom Verstand befreit. Ум человека камень преткновения. Да нет, пожалуй, целая скала, стоящая перед душой. Не обойти ее, не перепрыгнуть. Den scharfe Steine hochzuklettern, die Nägel blutig reißend und abermals vom glatten, vom Verstand versüßten Stufen herabzustürzen und wieder hoch die Geisteskraft gesammelt, erneut zu klettern. Не каждому дано, ведь у подножья так красиво. Уютно, сладко и тепло. И разум от штанишек бренных Создаст иллюзию всего, что пожелаешь ты. Лишь только б ты желал. Желал любви земной с горящим очагом. Die Kinder für die Nachkommenschaft La richesse ou la renommée Aucune différence Pourvu que tu désires Желал, желал и будет все дано. In der Illusion, in einer oder anderer, ganz gleich, du sollst nur wünschen, que tu désires, желал, желал земного. Но ведь так сложно, многие кричат. Нет, не сложно. Я много раз одежды одевал, ходил с клюкой бескрайней дорогой, питая плоть лишь тем, что находил. J'ai été roi. Et j'ai gouverné longuement d'innombrables peuples. Et à chaque fois, l'habit m'oppressait, m'entravait et m'empêchait de vivre. 
il grelottait de peur et tombait malade. Et au début, comme pour tout le monde, il désirait beaucoup avant que je ne le dompte. Tot diki zvir, iz katorova satkali vsu adjezdu, baitsa lish khazayin, dushi. Doch viele fürchten mehr als dir. Die Seele, die Seele, die sich stört zu existieren, wie meine Kleidung mich zu leben stört. Verstehen dieser Menschen kann ich nicht. Souffrir dans l'étreinte de la peau de la bête, servir l'habit qui s'use jour après jour. Est-ce en cela la vie Es gibt darin kein Leid. Es kann nicht heißen, weil man die Seele nicht abnutzen kann. Die Kleidung hat kein Heim. Sie hat nur eine Kammer, wo sie vorübergehend bleibt. Dom istinny ist только u duši. I imenna dusha стремясь туда, где вечность, рождает это чувство дома, который всю жизнь и ищет человек. Ригден Джаппа